Hey everyone, okay, so today I'm gonna to be reviewing this. Tati Beauty. So, where's my brush? Here it is. So Tati reached out to me um, about 10 days ago or so and asked me if I would like to receive this gorgeous palette. So of course I immediately said yes and congratulated her because it's an extraordinary feat to be able to create any form of makeup. You have no idea how difficult the process truly is. It is laborious and horrific. And here is the palette that she has created. And there it is in all its glory. So you have matte, you have sequin, you have metallic, and finally you have glitter. I'm so sorry if I didn't see that. So matte, metallic, no, matte, sequin, metallic, and glitter at the top. So I'm gonna be swatching them for you. I'll be using a brush for every single eyeshadow minus the glitter ones, which will be best applied with a finger. So let's just talk about the palette first, which contains um, 0.75 grams of product for the glitter shades and the rest contain one gram of product each. And you also get, what's kind of nice about this is it's, you've got this kind of decent balance of warm shades and cool shades, if that makes sense. So you've got the kind of cooler ones here and then the warmer shades as well. And of course the palette, if you look at the colors, it is a very universal color palette. There are no you know, bright yellows, there are no bright greens, there are no powder blues. So it's an easily wearable eyeshadow palette. So swatching time is always preferred. So I'm gonna start from this side and work my way in as with all of the shadows. Right then, let's make a start. Oh, one thing that's worth mentioning as well, just so people are aware, Obviously you can pick any single eyeshadow combination you like, but they actually work really well in straight lines, work really, really beautiful to create a harmony of color. They also work really great this way as well, which is just quite an interesting fact. Okay, so let's make a start. So where's my mirror? So I'm just gonna start here. So this is the first. Oh, that is pigmented. So let's go with the light shade next, which I'm just gonna apply right here. Now you're gonna, that's pigmented as well. And that's just come from that same brush that had that really intense color on. So next we're gonna go into, you know, your beautiful neutral, oh, the, the, the pigment on these is great. Now one thing that's worth mentioning, and I mention this with every single eyeshadow palette, because some people, I always think some people have the joy in taking a brush, putting it into a palette and doing this and then going, look at all the fallout. Eyeshadows have fallout. It's just the way it is. The more pigmented, generally speaking, the more amount of fallout there is because it's pressed at a lesser level. And that's just natural. These produce fallout. It's no big deal, you know, who cares? Do your eyes first, it's no big deal. Look at that. They apply really nicely, the, black, uh, the matte shades, which is quite interesting because matte shades in general, they are not the easiest to apply. And there we go. So that, can, that is all of the matte shades. Hmm, I think so, don't you? Okay, so next we'll move on to the sequin. So we're gonna start in horizontal. Now, I don't know if this is gonna pick up on camera, right? But the sequin ones are quite, they're quite peculiar because they have this, there's no real shimmer, but they have this tiny, tiny microflex of glitter in it. And that's quite a nice, unique way of doing it. Because this next shade's really light, I'm just gonna use my finger because even though I'm cleaning my brush, um, you know, sometimes it just, you know, it's gonna make it a little bit pinky. Next. See, even that shade here, which looks like a complete neutral, has this, these tiny reflex in them, which are just, that's actually quite a beautiful way of doing it. Because you don't expect it, you expect a shimmer, right? And it's not, it is a reflect of glitter. And finally, we're going to oh, this, this, I'm gonna do this shade here. <laughs> That is just screaming with, um, oh my God, that is extraordinary, that color. Oh, that is this color here. Let me show you on the palette, this color here. 
Oh, that's going to make the most beautiful smoky eye. Okay, so next we're going to move on to the metallics. Now, as you would imagine by the name, metallics in general are quite easy to blend and because there is more emollients to them, so they always adhere really well to skin. Now, on my skin at the moment, it's worth mentioning that I have a light layer of foundation because generally speaking, you don't apply eyeshadow to a completely bare eye. There's always something on it. These apply really, of all of them, these are the smoothest to apply. And that's because there's metallic in them. You know, it's to be expected. I'm going to go down here for this next shade. That is, that is beautiful. Look at this one. This, of course, is the, that gray. And that is just, it's like this gun metal gray. Let me use my finger as well here, just so you can really see that gun metal color that's a great color so next i'm running out of room on my face i should have gone smaller but we'll find room so next up is the glitter now the glitter ones there is fallout just don't be panicking it is just what it is <laughs> that's party central i feel um wait let's do that here Oh, look at that. Oh. Okay, uh, that's a 41 year old man doing that then. I'm gonna do that one here. Oh, these, the glitter ones are so pretty. I'm actually gonna layer one of these in a second just for effect, just to see. Um, I'm gonna go over this one here because this shade didn't show up just because it's a neutral color. Let's do that there. They are so pretty. And the final two, which we're gonna go right here. That is a great shade. That's, oh, that's a really good shade. That's this one here. That's a beautiful shade. And finally, we're gonna go in with that silvery black. And I'm gonna go right next to the black here. Oh. So, because we don't tend to use the, the sort of, the, I don't know what I'm trying to say. We don't use tend to use glitters on their own. I'm going to layer this one just lightly over the eyeshadow on this side, just so you can kind of get an effect of what happens to it. And bizarrely enough, there isn't a huge amount of fallout once it's applied to the actual lid. I'm just going to go over this one as well. These actually work best when you kind of really push them into the skin because then you just get this kind of transparent glitter effect. So let me show you what the palette looks like because you are going to get fallout. So there's no point moaning about it. You know, fallout happens, but look, it's not really extreme or horrific or anything like that. Now, for you get one gram of product, as I mentioned, in each of these and 0.75s in the glitter, which is to be expected. Now, the glitter shades don't have that same level of emollients as the metallic shades do. So don't be confusing the glitter shades here with what's also known as a celestial. So a celestial shade is much more akin to the Tom Ford or the Charlotte Tilbury. You get that wet kind of feeling. These are a true glitter shade and they do exactly what they say on the tin. They have a glitter effect. So celestial shades have this wet kind of... Uh, this wet kind of look to them, whereas the glitter shades are a true glitter. I'll be completely honest. I think this is a really, really great palette. It's a good palette. The shade ranges are very, very decent. It, also, the fact that this is volume one indicates there's going to be lots more volumes. And this is definitely a palette that is workable for day to night. I mean, the, just the smoky eye combination in, in itself is quite lovely. If you were to just do a smoky eye with these, you wouldn't go far wrong. And again, you've got your neutrals here, so you could just use these as a base and then pick and choose anything else. Just really, really grateful and really, really lucky to have received this. And again, this was sent to me by Tati, but it's not sponsored and there's no affiliate link or anything like that. So I'm not benefiting off of any sales that may or may not happen. It's just a really good shade. It's just a really good palette. And I'm you know, grateful that it was sent to me. And I'm incredibly proud of the, of the accomplishment of achieving this, because as I mentioned, I have makeup line coming out and it's been a constant nosebleed from the moment it began. It is an incredibly arduous process. So to achieve something and have it work is in itself an incredible feat. And this works beautifully well. So 
highly recommend it. So thank you so much, Tati, for sending it to me and hope you enjoyed this swatching video of these glorious shades. See you all soon. Bye-bye.